The title, Age of Transitions, was coined by Newt Gingrich in his introduction to the National Science Foundation and Department of Commerce sponsored workshop on NBIC technologies. The workshop featured a wide range of participants from governmental and private institutions such as NASA, MIT, Carnegie Mellon University, the Department of Defense, Hewlett Packard, and many more. It was a chance for experts in the fields of nano, biological, information, and cognitive technologies to discuss their visions for the future alongside government officials. And the goals discussed for the future were nothing short of Promethean, with the key goal stated as enhancing human performance. This in turn would lead to a more efficient societal structure. Indeed, technological convergence was given as the answer to all of the world's now infamous global problems. It promised to bring upon a new renaissance of human development. It was the hope of integrating humanity with nature to save the earth. Visions laid out included robotics, cybernetics, artificial intelligence, life extension, brain enhancement, virtual reality, genetic engineering, and even teleportation. Enhancing human performance would require merging human biology with technology. Brain-machine interfaces, or BMIs, would allow the control of machinery with the brain itself. Implantable brain chips would also be able to store information and enhance cognitive function. The ultimate human-machine symbiosis could be to download an actual copy of a person's brain into a supercomputer. This would allow someone to effectively live forever within a computer-generated virtual simulation. More subtle concepts such as using virtual reality in classrooms were also discussed. And of course, the military implications of convergence were quite obvious, as cybernetic enhancement of human performance is inevitable. Achieving these visions requires the decoding and understanding of complex systems. The most important complex system being the human brain. After all, it is the driving force behind human performance. Through the use of bioinformatics, functions of the brain could be understood. Bioinformatics is the process of collecting data from a biological system in order to understand how that system works. The next step in the process would involve biomimetics, the mimicking of those same biological systems. Using this process could enable the development of artificial intelligence. A stated military goal for artificial intelligence is the creation of uninhabited combat vehicles. Removing the pilot would result in a more combat agile aircraft. These machines would also have the ability to maintain themselves. The use of new materials created with nanotech would enable lighter, stronger, high-tech solutions. And of course, the super soldier was also mentioned at this conference. All sorts of new techniques, from pharmaceuticals to robotic exoskeletons, can make this vision come true. It's important to realize that this report clearly states that cybernetic enhancement of human performance is inevitable. With Newt Gingrich proclaiming, Those countries that ignore these patterns of change will fall further behind and find themselves weaker, poorer, and more vulnerable to their wiser, more change-oriented neighbors. Mr. Gingrich conservatively calls for a tripling of the National Science Foundation budget. He also mentions George Bush's approval of a $604 million increase towards the nano budget. Convergence is the priority area of importance in implementing the great promise of a new day for the 21st century. One group stands above all others in applauding this funding for convergence. They are known as transhumanists, most prominent among which are professors, philosophers, scientists, and celebrities